So this is Sphero. It's a robotic ball that you control with your iPhone, iPad, Android device. And it's the, the robot ball that you can simply use your finger and make it go wherever you want. But what's really neat about Sphero is it truly is a software-defined machine, so it can do many different things. Uh, this one app was driving, but we can easily launch into another app that allows me to, let's say, draw a little shape, and Sphero will trace it out on the floor. Oh, let's give it a little kick there. And it'll come back, so it'll do whatever shape I draw. I can try another app. Um, this is a new app that's not yet to be released, but Sphero can actually become a controller. So now, now the ball you can drive and you can play games like tag and jump and uh, have all sorts of fun driving games, but now you can pick it up. Hold the ball in your hand and then uh, turns in from turns from a moving robot to a controller. And not only do I have X, Y, Z rotational capability, I also have a, um, a Z component where I can shake the ball and use a mega bomb to kill kill the enemies on the screen. There are currently nine apps available. We'll have over 20 apps in a few months. Uh, and our goal is to just have hundreds of apps available. Um, some are third-party developed, some are developed by us. But the goal is to have mostly third-party developed apps in the near future. There's a full open SDK for any Android or iOS developer. You can use and use HTML5 for PhoneGap users, and we support uh, Cocos 2D and Unity engines for game development. And we'll soon have a .NET version available as well and support the Windows uh, mobile phone. This is LastFish. This is a uh, third-party app, our very first third-party app that's been released, that's gone through the uh, uh, official approval process and I'm going to uh, select a level here and the idea is I just drive this little fish originally this game came out where it was a tilt only mode with your with your phone or your tablet and the developer said hey I'm going to add an optional controller here where I can use the Sphero so I don't have to have my users tilt the, the screen away from them they can just place this on their desk flat and then use the Sphero to, to gain uh, another way to play. And it took, took literally a couple of days to integrate this into his app. Alright, I'm almost done with my level here. There we go.